I'm Ashley Hunkins. I am the school nurse at both Cloud Peak and Meadowlark Elementary Schools. I just wanted to talk a little bit about vaccination first. We obviously promote anyone who's eligible to get vaccinated. That being said, if you are vaccinated, know that there is a possibility for you to still get COVID-19 and give it to someone else. We also just want to go into the rules here about isolation and quarantine. If in fact you do get exposed to COVID-19 or if you do get a positive case, Isolation is for those who are actually sick, who have a positive COVID-19 case. Quarantine is when you stay home and away from other people after you've been exposed to a positive COVID-19 case. When you're isolated, you have a positive case and the rules for isolation are to stay home for 10 days from either the start of symptoms or you stay home 10 days from the date of your positive test if you're asymptomatic. In order to get out of that isolation too of those 10 days, you also need to have your symptoms improving and you also need to be fever free for 24 hours without the use of medication. There are actually four ways that you can avoid quarantine. If you are vaccinated, you do not have to quarantine. If you have had COVID-19 within the past 90 days, you do not have to quarantine. If both individuals were wearing a mask, both the exposed and the positive case, you do not have to quarantine. You have the option of getting an antibody test drawn right after exposure. And if your antibody test comes back positive, that is a blood draw, then you can avoid quarantine if you have a positive antibody test after exposure. Once you are exposed, your quarantine starts and you have to be in quarantine for at least seven days. On day five of that quarantine, you can test and if you have a negative PCR test, you can come back on day eight. If you have any questions about quarantine, you can always call myself at the elementary schools or Kelly Glack and our other school nurse. Again, we are following the Wyoming Department of Health guidelines that are set forth right now. And those might change for our district in the future, but as of right now, those are the rules that we are following.